Hello! My name is Lindsay and I'm the Youth Librarian at the Headquarters Branch of the St. Louis County Library. And I'm here today to teach you a quick science experiment to make some chromatography butterflies. Now, what is chromatography? Sounds like a real fancy word. But basically, chromatography is the process of separating out different parts in a mixture, something that's all mixed together. So in this case, we are going to separate out the colors in a marker. So to do this experiment at home, you need just a few basic supplies that you probably already have around the house. You need a coffee filter or several coffee filters because you'll probably want to repeat this experiment more than once. You need some markers in different colors. You need a glass of water. Now your glass should be a smaller glass with a smaller opening and you don't need very much water at all. Just enough to kind of coat the bottom and you'll see why that's important in just a little bit. You'll want a plate or something to set um, your butterfly on while it's drying. And then finally, to actually make your butterfly, you'll need a pipe cleaner or a clothespin would also work, but I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner today. So to make your chromatography butterfly, first step is you'll wanna choose a color of marker. So I'm going to choose black for my butterfly. And then you'll see in our coffee filter, there's kind of an inside circle. So you want to make a rain, a circle around that inside circle, and you want to make it nice and thick, but make sure you leave the center of your coffee filter uncolored. So I'm going to make my circle on the rain, the coffee filter here, and I'm making it nice and dark. You probably want to go several, several times around, nice and thick. The more the thicker you make your line, the more colorful your butterfly is going to be when it's all done. All right. So there's my big circle. So now you've got your circle. Next step is you'll want to fold your coffee filter. So you'll want to fold it one way, make a taco, and then take it and fold it again and you'll make kind of a triangle. So then you'll take this triangle and you'll sit it in the water. Very important part is you don't want the water to touch this big line we made. You just want it to touch the very tip of this triangle or cone that we made. So you wanna set it very carefully in your water. So you can see I'm just, the tip of the cone is sitting in my water. And now's the part where we have to be a little bit patient and wait. And we're going to wait and see what happens to our coffee filter. So what you'll start to see is that the water will actually move up that just that little part that was initially in the water. And I'll start to move our colors up, up, up the filter. So now we sit and wait. It'll take a few minutes. Okay, so when you start to see color clear up near the top of your coffee filter, then your butterfly is about done. So what happened is that water, that tip pulled that water out of the bottom and pulled it up, 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 soaked all the way up the coffee filter. And as it went, that water pushed out all the different colors that are actually in our black marker. So you can see I've got I don't really have black anymore. I have maybe some green, a little bit of kind of purplish brown, all the different colors that were in our marker. So now once it's about reached the top of your coffee filter, you can take it out of your cup of water and set it on a plate or something to dry. So I'm going to take it out, unfold it, and set it on my plate. Those colors will probably continue to bleed a little bit. So then we wait until our coffee filter is dry because if we try to make our butterfly when it's wet, we're probably just gonna tear it. So 
we're gonna wait for a little while and then come back and show you how to turn your now colorful coffee filter into a butterfly. All right, I'm back to finish up our butterflies. So once your coffee filter is dry, we can actually make our butterfly. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna kind of pinch the center and draw everything in to the center to make our wings. And then to make our body, we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're just gonna wrap it around the center and you'll wanna wrap it several times. Just wrap around and around and then spread out those wings, it's the colorful parts with your marker. So there's the butterfly wings and then you might wanna curve the ends of your antenna. And there you go, you've got a colorful chromatography butterfly. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have fun with this experiment. Try all sorts of colors and see what's actually in those markers. Bye.